Each year, disasters affect hundreds of millions of people worldwide, and we're seeing this firsthand in Tonga right now. The island nation is cut off from the rest of the world and desperately needs supplies. So, joining me this morning to talk a little bit more about how organizations like the Red Cross play a role in all of this is Heidi Ruster. So, thanks for being here, Heidi. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. having me. So, first off, we know that Tonga Red Cross teams are on the ground right now, providing support for them. Can you first off explain exactly what they're doing there? Sure. So, throughout the world, right, there there are Red Cross societies, and Tonga has a Red Cross society that continually prepares and has volunteers and teams ready to respond when something like this happens. So, they have um, hygiene kits, they have water and and basic needs available for for their population there. And at the, this point, um, other Red Crossers, Tonga Red Crossers, are going to some of the outer lying islands that were more badly hit. Um, so we're working through that as well as we're all part of an international federation in that we work together as national societies to support each other. Uh, so the International Federation of the Red Cross is working with Australia and New Zealand governments um, to be able to get resources, especially water there at this time. Okay, and so at what point does the American Red Cross step in to help there? Sure. So at this point, we're on standby um, and fulfilling the needs related to, to the Tonga Red Cross and the Federation. Uh, but we are able and have caseworkers on standby to be able to provide communications. Um, so we have a program we call Restoring Family Links, where we connect families stateside uh, back to families worldwide when there's conflicts or disasters. So right now, we have individuals that that may be able to help connect families back together again um, related to this disaster. Okay, so you're offering those services right now because we do know that there's you know so many people here in Utah who have family out there, and obviously communication has been a huge problem, and they haven't been able to even hear from them, hear if they're okay. So, what exactly do you guys do to link up those families and get them in contact with one another? Yeah, so, you know, to begin with, we ask that everybody use your traditional ways to connect with families, whether it's direct, whether texting is even easier, uh, family members you may know there, there is a little bit of communication going through. So I would say continue taking those efforts, even writing a letter. Um, but if, if those are not working out and you're, you're, you're needing to get together with your family, it's a matter of reaching out to your local Red Cross, um, and, and we'll have a caseworker connect with the International Federation who has caseworkers there that would have a better sense of who is where because many people are in shelters or, or in other locations. So they would work to find those family members through the Tonga Red Cross. Okay, and do you have any other tips for people who are trying to get a hold of family members over there just to link those families up or just any advice you can give them because obviously it's a super stressful and scary situation for so many. Yeah, I mean, I think the I, I know the recognition is this is a it was a massive disaster, right? It was both tsunami and the volcano a distance away. So many of the communication links were severed or badly damaged. So they're working on fixing that. So a little bit of patience, but I know that's tough when you're trying to get together with family. So um, you know, looking at your family members, maybe social media pages, um, all the different platforms they may be. In, connected to, um, go through an email. Um, and if that person is a U.S. citizen and in Tonga, um, you are urged to reach out to the U.S. State Department and they would be able to also assist. Such great advice, Heidi. Thank you so much for that. And I know so many people are watching and they're probably wanting to take all of this advice and put it into action. Where can they go for more information? Uh, so, a couple different places. Redcross.org, we are posting some stories about Tonga. Also, the International Federation of the Red Cross um, has a little bit more detail. It's IFRC.org, um, and they should be able to get more up to date information through that method. Okay, and we'll have a link to that on our website at abc4.com slash GMU. Thank you again for taking the time, Heidi. Oh, no worries. Thank you for having me. We will be right back.